The grace and love of our Lord and Savior be with us always. Amen. The word of God we want to consider today is the beginning of our epistle reading for this past Sunday again, where the past Sunday was the first Sunday after the Epiphany, and that's, of course, the wise men coming to worship the infant Jesus. Last Sunday was the Baptism of the Lord Sunday. Our epistle reading is from Acts chapter 10, verses 34 to 36. Then Peter began to speak, I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism, but accepts men from every nation who fear him and do what is right. You know the message God sent to the people of Israel, telling the good news of peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. My dear friends in Christ, when, when Peter said to Cornelius, I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism, but accepts men from every nation who fear him and do what is right. He is reminding us that Jesus' gracious invitation is offered to all. He wants everyone in heaven. He doesn't want anyone to perish, and it's just such a shame that there are so many people who end up rejecting Jesus and what he actually did for all people. Because Jesus' gracious invitation, it is offered to all, and Jesus has won peace with God for all. It isn't necessary for anyone to suffer eternal punishment unless, of course, he rejects the Lord Jesus. Well, Peter told Cornelius, you know the message God sent to the people of Israel, telling the good news of peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. Cornelius, he was a Gentile, a Gentile centurion. And somehow or other, he had known about the promises of God. He knew the gospel which had been proclaimed to the Jewish people. He had come to know the Savior through his study of the Old Testament scriptures and, oh, perhaps he knew the Old Testament reading that we had for this past Sunday in which God the Father said of his son Jesus, I will keep you and make you to be a covenant for the people and a light for the Gentiles. Perhaps Cornelius could have recalled God's words to Abraham when he said, all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. All people on this earth have been blessed through Abraham because, well, one of Abraham's descendants was the Lord Jesus himself, the God-man, the one who suffered and died on the cross to pay for the sins of the world. That's why it says, all peoples on earth will be blessed through you, through Abraham. Jesus came to pay for the sins, not of a select few people, but for absolutely everyone. Jesus has won peace with God for all. Once, when the Israelites were wandering around in the wilderness, they grew impatient with the Lord. And as a result of that, because of their grumbling and complaining, the Lord sent poisonous snakes among them, and many people died. Moses writes, Then the Lord sent venomous snakes among them. They bit the people, and many Israelites died. But then, when the Israelites confessed their sin and realized that God in love was disciplining them, then God had Moses put this bronze serpent up on a pole with the promise that if ever anyone got bitten by one of those poisonous snakes, if they looked at that snake, that bronze snake on the pole, that then they wouldn't die. Don't know how many people there maybe were who refused to look at that bronze snake. But really, what's the case is no one 
needed to die after Moses put that bronze serpent up on the pole because God had made the promise. Anyone who looks at that bronze snake would not die. Only those people who believed in God's promise there and looked at the snake, they were saved. So also no one needs to suffer eternal death in hell because well, as scripture says, as Moses lifted up the snake in the desert, so the Son of Man was lifted up, that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. That's what Jesus said. Let's never stop thanking God that he sent his Holy Spirit working in our hearts, causing us to look to Jesus Christ crucified and believe that in him we have the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Peace with God of having our sins forgiven, being heirs of heaven through faith in him. Christ won that peace for all people. Jesus has won peace with God for all. And, and again, tragically, so many people end up rejecting that peace which Jesus has won for all. But thank God again that the Holy Spirit has worked faith in your heart so that you believe that Jesus has won peace with God for you. Amen. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for your gracious invitation to us sinners who deserve eternal punishment to believe that you are our way to heaven forever. Thank you for your life, death, and resurrection, which wins peace with God for all. Thank you for sending us your Holy Spirit so that we believe that you have won peace with God for us. We pray in your name. Amen. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always.